You settle down for the night on the couch. You turn on the TV. You turn on YouTube because that's all you watch anymore. You're looking for something that looks interesting. You see a title. You see a thumbnail that yeah, it makes you think, what? That looks like it might be good. You click on it. You're about 10 seconds into the video and you quickly realize it's another one of those AI generated videos. Don't you hate that? I know, I ain't gonna lie, man. Makes me mad. Because 90% of those kind of videos are full of crap. They're full of lies. Fake things that don't make sense. And YouTube is just infested with it. And the reason YouTube puts up with it, I guess, is because, well, people are clicking on it. You'll see these videos with 100,000 views. Well, they're making money because they're selling advertisement to go on these videos. And then you watch it. You see the ads or you skip past the ads, whatever you do. Or you have YouTube premium. Either way, they get paid. For those fake videos that are probably full of lies. You see the fake movie trailers. Rambo 12. He's 82 years old. Yet he's making another movie. Chuck Norris might jump into the movie. They make it look realistic in these trailers. All AI. You read a news story that you see on Facebook. You're halfway through and you realize hmm, this something ain't right here. Yep, it's AI. AI has infested the web. Now, AI, they say, is controlled by people. I've used AI to help me with titles, thumbnail quotes. I use it for quite a few things. I never use it to make my videos. I have made one of those. I think I put it on this channel. I uh, didn't like it. People didn't like it. You know, I guess I'm not good at it. But you can literally get in there. I said that word literally. I talked about that on my channel yesterday, my other channel. One of them words all the kids are using now. But you can get on there, and I can tell ChatGTP what kind of video I want to make. It will give me talking points. It will give me title suggestions, thumbnail suggestions. All I got to do is start making the video. Now, a lot of times, the facts that it gives you are not facts at all. I don't know where they come up with it, but you have to fact check AI every time you get something from it. And it's getting to the point where the bad people know how to use it now. And, and it can be good, too. You know, we can use AI, I imagine, in the future, probably already are, to cure diseases, to cure problems we've had for centuries. AI is capable of doing that, and it's only getting better. But on the other side of the coin, you got the bad people. And the bad people are greedy, and the bad people want to use it to make money. So you really have to be careful what you watch today, what you believe. I made a photo. I, I told it to make me a photo of me. I, I uploaded a picture of me. I said, put me at a picnic table having lunch with Bigfoot. And man, did it look realistic. I had it put me in a military uniform with Don Knotts. And man, did that look realistic. I had it make me into an onion. Took my face and made my head an onion and put me on the body of a snake. And that was creepy. But it did it. And it looked real. AI can fool you. But there are things you can look for. Okay, you, you can tell if something's AI if you look hard enough at it. Who's got time for that, right? But sometimes you'll see a human being, you look close at it. See how many fingers? Sometimes they might have four fingers. They might have five or six fingers. There's always something off. I had one, I had it do one once and it gave me three arms. The other arm you had to look hard for, but there was a third arm. <laughs> it would be handy sometimes to have a third arm. It really would. But there are certain things you'll see. UFO videos is one that they're really using AI for to make fake AI UFO videos. And you'll see it. You'll swear it's real. And you'll have the people like they're filming it. It's fake. 
You know, it's to the point where if there was a real UFO and I went out and filmed it, nobody's going to believe it. I think that's why a lot of people don't believe in that stuff because there are those people that are making all these fake videos. You don't know what to believe, so you don't believe any of it. And that's bad. Because I know if a UFO showed up over my yard and I took a, a video of it, I would want people to believe it because I've seen that with my own eyes. And there are ways to tell if it's fake. You know, sometimes there might be like a tree and you could see that there is a shadow cast from that tree and then the UFO goes in front of it and there ain't no shadow. Well, that's because it was computer generated, CGI, which AI is CGI. There's so much of that. And it's always, uh, you know, the greedy people behind this. But AI is also a good tool. Okay, I think it could be used medically. It could be used to solve a lot of the world's problems. But the problem with that is there's so many bad people on this planet that want to use it for bad. So many bad people that want to use it for bad. Okay, well, I could rephrase that. You know what I'm saying. People will use it. For the evil ways that they like to use it for. And it isn't going away. So we could cry, moan and cry all we want. It isn't going away. It's here to stay. It's just how much of it you allow into your life. And I, I do use it. Like I said, I'll use it to suggest titles. I don't always use the things AI will suggest to me. But it's a tool that I can use doing YouTube videos that helps give me a description. I have to read everything it says because sometimes it messes up. It just can't grasp certain things that, you know, about us yet. That day's coming where that will, it will all be perfect and, and what it says is the truth. But people turn it into lies. They will take something that they have a result of from AI, that AI has given them and they will change it just to spark your curiosity, to get you to click on their video, uh, to get you to watch what they, the message they want to put out. If I was to tell AI, uh, make me a video um, about some leader that was getting ready to invade the USA, it would probably make a video that was believable to some people. And there are people that don't know that much about AI, AI, and you know it can really do some harm to certain people that just aren't savvy to what's going on. Um, so you have to take it. You know, it's like anything else. AI. You know, this is a salt shaker. Okay, if I was to pour this salt and then blow it in your eyes, well, I'm using this salt in a bad way. Okay, there's a bad way and a good way to use everything. If I'm putting this salt on my food, which salt is good for you, believe it or not, Redmond's ancient sea salt, well, that would be a good way to use it. That, that would be the way it was intended to be used. And that, and that could go for this pen. You know, I can write a story with it or I can poke you in the eye with it. That would be the bad way and the good way. That is true for so many things in our country. They're made with good intentions, but it never fails. The bad people always have to get a hold of it. And when they do, they bring out the worst in it. And it ruins it for all of us, man. <sighs> Gotta get a drink up and talk. And there's just like one little tiny. This is like, you know, if you were being tortured and you weren't allowed to drink for three days and then some guy's gonna dangle this in front of your head. Do you want it? Tell us what we need to know. That's it. Just enough to quench the thirst a little. But you need more. Don't know what that had to do with the video, but it sounded cool. Well, I am down with my back for this week, and I haven't had a uh, any real videos up on this channel for a while. Go over and check out my twin brother on Watch Tall Mountain Living. He puts up a daily video. He's going to be put, I'm going to be putting one up on my channel in October every day. So you'll get to, maybe we'll grow this channel. 
Let me know what you think about AI. Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? Uh, we all see it being abused. I wish YouTube would do something about the AI, but that's not going to happen because AI is making them money. YouTube is AI. You have a problem on your channel and you try to talk to a human, guess what? You're not getting one. There's a little chat window. If you need help, it's AI. And they have names. The last one I had, his name was Chandler. You're not Chandler. You're Mr. AI. It won't tell you it's AI. It's Chandler. Or it's Irene. They'll come up with names that nobody really has. Wendell. I've had a Wendell on there. You know, it's like calling the call centers and when you had a problem with your Verizon or whatever. You know. And they answer, and they're overseas. You know they're overseas because all the call centers are over there. And you get this guy. Oh, thank you for calling Verizon. My name is Steve. No, you're not Steve. Oh, yes, not, not, yes my name is Steve. How may I help you with your problem? Everything is false today. I guess that's all I got to say. Happy trails.